What's up guys, welcome to the garage today. We've got a tank on the channel. Now this is the first tank I've had to review. It's not the first tank I've had on the channel. I did a little video of my uh, stepdad's tank. That's just up here. That's a Tamiya 1 16th scale. And I can assure you it's much better detail than this. Really good job. So check that out if you haven't already seen that one. This was sent to me by Banggood. It's a Henglong Challenger 2. So British Army used the Challenger 2. It's been around since the 90s. Anyway, this is the promotion version, as it says on the box. So as you can see on the box, it says promotion version. You've got your metal gearboxes, metal tracks, and your idler, and your metal pulley there. So the metal version is slightly more expensive. Um, I'll put a link to this one in the description. I'll also put a link to the slightly cheaper one that comes with your standard plastic tracks and gears and stuff like that. If you can stretch a little bit more, I definitely recommend getting this with all the metal upgrades. They do cost quite a bit if you buy them separately. Anyway, uh, this thing looks really nice. It's also the um, the promotion version's also got slightly different paint on it. It's a bit weathered looking. It's not the best job in the world, but it definitely looks okay. And as you'll see, if you've seen my little montage video I've done, uh, it looks really good. A little bit of a filter on there, a bit cinematic, and there's moments in there where you could uh, mistake it for a real tank. Comes ready to run. All you need is six double A's for your transmitter. It's a bit muddy this because I've been out and about with this already. So this is your transmitter. All the functions you need are on here. The turret moves 320 degrees, I think. I'm sure it's 320 degrees. Uh, forward and backwards, obviously. Left and right is all done on one stick. And then the other one moves your turret and obviously moves your cannon up and down as well. It's got um, smoke machine. It's not the best. I'll try and demonstrate in a bit. It doesn't really give out that much smoke. Uh, and it's got a machine gun. And then it's got your cannon. You can you do your cannon from the button here. And you can also do it from the button up here in the corner. I'll give you a little demo in a bit. It fires. It fires little six millimeter plastic. Um, as it says they're ball bullets. Uh, like BB pellets or airsoft pellets. I'm not sure if they're airsoft ones because I'm not into airsoft. But anyway, fires these little pellets. Comes with a 7.4 volt, 1800 milliamp hour uh, lithium ion battery. It's got quite a good run time on this. I'd say it's a good maybe 20 minutes plus. I've changed this. I've changed it to a Dean's connector and I've got some bigger batteries that I've been using on this. Uh, but the run time, massive. It's got twin, twin 380 motors in the back there. One for each gearbox. Comes with a pretty well detailed instruction manual, uh, strips it all down and gives you all the indication of where the accessories go. Because when you when you get this out of the box, it comes with some of the accessories you have to put on yourself, like this rope along here and all the bits of trim and stuff like that. Overall, really impressed with this. Like I say, it's my first tank that I've really had a, a good go on. So I haven't got much to go on previous to that, but I am really impressed. So the only issues I have with this, now when you see the running, I did actually run it through water, but I, I gave the ESC a bit of waterproofing prior to uh, running it, and that was just a spray of conformal coating on the ESC. The only issue I had was the water I was running was really boggy, so all the grass and reeds were getting caught all up in the track, and it was putting loads of strain on it, and it started slipping and getting caught up on the back pulley there, as you'll see uh, in the video. But other than that, I cleaned it out and it was running fine. After I submerged it all the way up to the top, it did after about 10 minutes give up. I think that was two things. One, the battery was on its way out anyway, and two, I think the water just got a little bit too much for all the electronics in there. 24 hours later, nice and dry, no problems at all. Got the battery, got it switched on, got the transmitter on. To start it up, you press the little locked key there. And then as you can hear, that starts it. Then you've got the volume. Got six volumes on this. And then I'll turn it off just for now. Well, we'll put it on the lowest volume for now. And then your left stick. And then you can control your cannon up and down. And then to fire, 
you hold, and then you've got your machine gun. And then to fire, you hold the bullet button down up here, and then you push that forward. So your right stick does the uh, tank forward and backwards and you can go left and right. It is proportional so it doesn't uh, just jolt, you can do it quite well for a tank it's gently. So there it is, the Henglong 116th scale Challenger 2 from Banggood, link in the description, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, look out for some more stuff coming from this. Cheers for watching and I'll see you next time.